I am here to warn you of the dangers of mechanical pencils. I am the lead researcher at Dixon University. What I am going to tell you is the true story of Jimmy Barnes. It all began. Ah, my pencil broke again. Ah, uh, I guess I'll have to sharpen it. Not here. I'm looking at the pencil. I'll never have to sharpen it again. Oh, thank you. the best thing ever! It's just, it's never running out! Hey, thanks! I, I, I've never seen anything like this before! Come on, I was just using a little too rough the first time. You'll see, I'll get the hang of it. Please, consider what you're doing. I don't want this to happen again. Just be very careful, because they are dangerous. Hey, uh, man, do you have any, uh, mechanical pencils? I, I need some. What do you got? Don't take Pencils. That's good stuff, but... What else do you have, man? Uh, all I have is my... Grandmother's stopwatch. Oh, okay. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, for all this stuff, you can get these. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. Have a good day. Alright. Hey, Jimmy. Mechanical pencils again? Dad, nab it? Ever since you found these mechanical pencils, you've become nothing but a nuisance. I'm through with you. You're not even going to try to take me back? Fine, I'm through. Mechanical pencils. Mechanical pencils. No more left! And so, from the story of Jimmy Barnes, we can see the dangers of mechanical pencils. From one night, he became homeless and died of hypothermia the very next. This could happen to you, or you, or you. Go. Go. Hello. I am the lead. Ah. Oh. Okay. Here. Go. Oh, no, no, I wasn't ready. Now. Hello. I am going to tell you of the dangerous secret. And so we can see from the beginning of. I forgot my accent. And so we can see. Or oh, go back. Go back. Research. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can't. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>